Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. So, the haters, the devil's really angry right now, bros. Right? The devil's so angry right now because he's, like, losing so badly because everyone's realizing what a piece of shit he is. Anyway, <laughs> people are wondering, why are you saying you're a Christian, but yet you're saying you're a starseed, you're this, you're that, uh, you're, you're peddling for something or something or whatever. Um, <laughs> do you not get me already like i'm i'm a very spiritual person um when i talk to people i like to talk their language so they understand where i'm coming from because i don't look at things in some one dimensional way like most christians do think in such a dimensional way they 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 didn't study enough, in my opinion. They don't. They didn't study the Quran. They didn't study what Islamic people truly believe. They didn't understand, and they condemned what the New Agers were trying to say. They didn't understand, and they condemned the Native people of their belief system. Um, me, I have come fully to the understanding as a believer in Jesus Christ, that all faiths will come to the knowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. So I'm not really worried about those spiritual people right now. Uh, I'm more worried about the evil ones, the ones that are doing uh, horrible things in the world. And while you're sitting on your asses on the internet debating if I'm a Christian or not, Maybe you should do something good for the world and actually F, focus on something that actually matters. Because right now, dealing with worldly things, me being a Christian doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> what matters is people are dying, and instead of you actually speaking up to something that actually matters in the world... You go on trivial things and you speculate like the pieces of shit you actually are. Do I need to put myself on camera for you to understand where I'm coming from? I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I actually, to tell you the truth, I believe the church has fallen in a big, big, giant, humongous way. And they forgot the way of Jesus Christ. Instead, they listened to their preachers and their pastors and John Calvin and oh. Ellen White. Do you listen to Jesus? At all? Did you actually listen to Jesus Christ at all? To, to the fellow Christians out there that want to try to speculate if I'm a believer or not. Okay, and I'm not being a villain here. I'm just speaking the truth. Jesus Christ said out of his mouth, all knees shall be bow down and say Jesus Christ is Lord. All knees. Does it just say the Christian Calvinists and only them? <clears throat> no. It says all. That means everyone. And since you're so stuck... In your ego, ethnocentric ways. I know, it's a big word for you dumb shits. <laughs> ego. Ethno, ego, meaning your mind, right? Right? Centric, meaning you, you circle, center, 
in the middle, your, your, your mind is only centered on yourself. That's what egocentric means, okay? Ethnocentric means ethnicity, culture. What you've grown up with to try to make it as layman as possible. And center, meaning you only think from your own cultural and societal standpoint. You don't look at the whole picture. <laughs> You're judging unrighteously on people. You're judging unrighteously. And you're definitely judging unrighteously with me because I love Jesus Christ with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay, if you truly love Jesus Christ, you would know Jesus Christ love your neighbor as yourself. Is that what Israel doing? Are they treating their neighbors as their as themselves? Mm. No, they're not. They're blowing their baby's heads off for sport. For for ethnic cleansing reasons. You want to you want to focus on me. I want to focus on Rafa. I want to focus on people that are actually suffering. You want to focus on me and try to speculate what I believe in? What do you believe in? What do you believe in? Judgment? Slander? Abuse? Gossip? That's what you represent every fucking day. I don't represent that. Yeah. I represent the goodness in mankind. I represent the betterment of humanity, regardless of what they believe or what their sex is or gender or whatever fucking shit they want to divide us on. Yeah. Because Jesus told me to love others as myself, and that's how I would want to be loved. Jesus Christ told you to love your enemy. Are you loving me? No, you're judging me unrighteously. And you're going to find out on Judgment Day how unrighteous your judgment is. Because I know thyself. And you're removed, see? See? Bye, pretty blue eyes. Mwah! <laughs> see? When I don't like someone, I remove them from my presence, or I remove my presence from them. I don't try to engage a back and forth, back and forth thing. I've said for years, I do not debate. Why? Because it's in Roman 1, that's reprobate behavior. And I'm not going to have reprobate behavior because you want me to, because you're little Satanist yourself who want to do the biddings of your dark lord. No, I'm going to represent Jesus Christ. I'm going to re represent him by doing what's the right thing. What's the moral thing? What is the high-minded thing? And if you don't like that about me, and you want to try to traumatize me with the past or with ever, any bullshit lie, 
I don't care. <laughs> I got better things to do. It's over. Get over it. Move on with your life. Do something better with your life. Do something that would be good for humanity. You got something to say? Um, you, you look good, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, I would like to let the Khazar Nazis know that God is not blind. You have a guy with the initials here, JWE, that just took the court documents into the father, and uh, <laughs> my signature was on them. And uh, I said Hosanna in the highest to him. Uh, and that means, do you know what that, you know, when they said that Hosanna in the highest, they, it was when Christ came through the, 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 the camel's eye gate in Jerusalem to show that he was the Messiah to the people of Israel. Hosanna in the highest. It's called the camel's eye gate? Yes. And the parable? Yes. Huh. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Why? Because rich men were always on camels, so it was hard for them to get through it. It was physical and spiritual. Rich men were on camels with stuff on the back of the camel. Man, you're and so screwed, BB. You have no idea how many like ways and levels of fucked up screwed you are. So... Woo! <laughs> I would Woo. just like them to know... Uh, I'd like the Saturnalian cult of sick fucking uh, child predators. <clears throat> you baby dick suckers. I'd like I'd like the pedophiles in Kezaria. Uh I'd like the the abusers of womankind whoremongers. Uh the guys that think it's all right like Mr. Diddified individuals like Diddy that you think it's okay to backhand a woman. I want to talk to you guys that I want you to know <clears throat> that you should know that everything that's been going on in the dark, he's seen every bit of it because he's even more powerful than any, a fucking owl. The owl has the ability to see in the dark real well, and that's why the Illuminists, the fucking piece of shit globalist Illuminists, love to say we could see in the dark, and these fucking sheep... That all they got to think about, all they can focus on is putting a fucking meal in front of their kids that we want to slaughter. They can't see us, and they don't know what we're doing in the dark. Uh, Bohemian Grove out there in California has a giant statue that they call Moloch. Wow, that's weird, ain't it? And then they do this weird ceremony, it's called a cremation of care, where they take a, an infant in effigy and put it in a, a little boat like Moses, and then they set it on fire, and they have the screams of an infant. You want me to do a test to the people real quick? You could. Hey, I want you to guess the number of how many children went mis missing last year. Oh, my God, I couldn't believe the number. What do you think? I couldn't believe that. How many people do you, how many children do you think went missing last year in America only? I'll wait. Wow. Almost, yeah, pretty much that. Wow, yeah, you... Yeah. Nailed it. You guys Google it quick? That's fine, if you did. Yeah. But maybe you knew already, and that's good that you knew. How does how does that many children just end up missing? That shocked the shit out of me. That's, that's child sex trafficking. That's proof of it. That shocked the shit out that's of me. That's proof I, of, of <laughs> slavery right there. I think so. Or, or or mass sacrifice. I don't know which one. I don't want to know. I probably will find out eventually. But these people are big sickos in this world. Yeah, like, Krista, you, like, hit it exactly pretty much. They are such big sickos in this world. 
What's up, heretic? Do some voodoo in the woods, man. It's so gross how many children are disappearing. And it's so gross how many people, how many children in Palestine are missing. Oh my God. Yeah. I look, I, I just, what these people are doing around the world, it needs to stop. It needs to end. How long are we just going to turn our blind eye for money's sake? Like, people need to know about Snapchat. If you got kids, you better monitor their Snapchats. Yep. I'm just going to tell you that. I think you're insane that you would give your child a phone at all. But... If you do, and they have Snapchat, you better look at that every day. Maybe every hour, depending on... Anyway. It's just disgusting what they're doing in this that world. That was a PSA. I, yeah, Bioshock. It needs knows. to stop. Probably and you not. know what? More and more people are waking up to this shit. I don't know how many times I've gone through these, like, awakenings with people and... And protesting and starting online activist stuff with people. Trying to get the word out. I've done it so many fucking times. Okay. There's only, 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 only so many things that will put you back to sleep. And I don't think it, I don't, I don't, I don't think I can go to sleep again after seeing a headless baby to tell you the truth. Uh, Delphi Murders, I think we watched something on that, actually, Heretic. Pretty sure we did. Like, seriously. I don't, I don't think ever I'm gonna go back to sleep and, and rest after seeing a headless baby. And this morning I saw a baby with half its head, so those, those images are really in my head forever. I'm happy it is because it just keeps me motivated. You know what I mean? Maybe I found a reason. Maybe I finally found a reason, a purpose. My true purpose. Yeah, you always have but I don't want to talk about myself. This isn't about me. This isn't about anything else. You know? This, this, this is about Palestine. This is about saving them. And putting awareness out there. Oh, yeah. I'm and good. helping them. I'm all right. Well, what you're going to have to understand is that uh, you might see in the spirit what I had to just step into in the spirit. I literally put court documents on oh. the desk of God. I played uh, Joshua Aaron. Hoshiana, which is a beautiful song to kind of get you in the right spirit to come before him. Because if you're going to come before the court of God, you better be pretty clean. I am. So I walked in there and I put that document on it and I said, Hoshiana. Hosanna in the highest. That's what I said and I left. So Israel is now indicted in the court of God, and they're good. Those are going to be a lot of dead people, and I just that's it. Uh, what has to be is uh, Israel did this to themselves. Um, and we're not talking about no. Jewish people. No, I mean the Khazarian government. The Khazarian government of Israel brought this upon their own land. And now judgment will come, and it will be swift. I don't give dates. What is with this? You're trying to look upset. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Wait, wait. What is this? You're trying to look upset thing. Okay. Why? Why are you asking that? Hmm. Of course he's upset, aren't you? Shouldn't you be upset? Yeah, about dead children. We're talking about dead children. Mm-hmm. I'm very upset about dead children. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Shouldn't you be? I'm really grieved. I've been grieved in the spirit now four days. Hank, hey, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I am severely grieved in the spirit. And I this the, the energy that I know is there. I've been trying to filter through 
listening to like metal music and stuff, which works pretty well for me, to channel it to something different. Me, I haven't done anything really. Yeah. I've just been... Seething in it. I've been trying to help people yeah, feel better. Yeah, and you've better. been posting good stuff. You've been doing... You've been making really good posts. Thank you. Yeah. Really good posts. Like, I have to. I have to. I feel I, that... This is also something... It's all I can do. I can tell you. No, you're right. I'm very upset. This is mainly why, because when I was doing my radio show, if you asked me if I was a Zionist, I would say absolutely yes, forever. Uh -huh. That's why I'm so upset, because this was definitely a big core belief of mine, part of being a Christian. That's an idol. Anything other than Jesus is an idol. Yes. Trump. I tore my Trump shirts up on camera for a reason. Because I was really starting to feel solidarity on a level that wasn't normal. And I got pricked in the heart and my, the Lord said, get on camera right now. Do a video of you cutting your shirts up. Because it's becoming idols to people. I remember that video. I was like, yeah. finally. Yeah, I know. I'm sure you like that. I did. See? when you But that's what a contrite heart does. The one that's ready for correction. You got to always be ready for correction. I rebuked you on that Trump mm. shit. So many times. That's cool. No, I was <laughs> I was totally following someone I really respected, which is Alex. He, he, I was follow the leader. I, I Alex goes. I think this guy is something different, and I went for it with him. I can't help it. It's my spirit. I'm an idol smasher. Yeah, you are, and that's amazing. That's good. It, it but it can make you a little sick having to get over that. So sick. Yeah, yeah it can. It can. That's why everyone hates me is I always prick that part of their heart where, hey, you're doing wrong. No, I learned what Zionism really is. <laughs> and all this, I've heard all that stuff before, but I heard white nationalist supremacist types mm -hmm. teaching it. So when I heard that dog whistle, oh, anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. Dog whistle. Oh, he's being anti-Semitic. He's talking about the Khazarian Jews. He's an anti-Semite. You're not really a Christian. You don't... Right. Uh, you're hurting Israel. No. That no. was me. No. That was me, though. 2016, no. 2015, 14, 13. No, I think I believe we're talking about what's spoken of in the book of Revelation called Beware of Them that say they are Jews but are not but a synagogue of Satan. Like, all these people lied about what their true names are. You want to go and talk shit about me? Why don't you look up all these motherfucking names? Yeah. And what they actually mean. And then come to me. Thank you, proud patriot. They prayed for us. Thank you. Thank you. We f definitely felt that. Because I was starting to feel that this weight come off. But it, it definitely, I went in that courtroom. It was very heavy. I went into the courtroom and I just put it there. So that's done. And that was a big weight because now I understand. Well, why did the Jews, why why did the state of Israel use the, the seal of Rempham, the star of Rempham for their symbol? This doesn't make sense. It should be the menorah. The proper symbol of Israel has always been the menorah. Why did they choose the star of Rempham? Because they're Nazis. <sighs> Prayer is powerful. Yeah. They've always been part of the cult of Thule. Sure. They've always they're, they're occultics. Yeah. The Khazarians. They're occultics. They're Freemasons. They're occult. They're into the occult. The black I mean, side of the occult. The bad side of the occult. The Khazarian Jews. Yeah. And they've been doing this for hundreds of years now. Mm -hmm. From from the Crusades onward. Yeah, and now you're getting to the core of it there by saying that. Okay, the Khazarians and all of this shit comes from Babylon. Okay, it's Babylon. 
the, the original place that all this shit came from, this mindset that these, I say, I'm going to say Hasidic Jews. Uh, I'm sorry. This is your roots. Okay, the Babylonian Talmud and this shit. Okay? Come out of her. You got to get out. Because they they worship Baal and Moloch. They don't worship Hashem. No. No. Not the name that you would know. They don't worship Hashem. No. They're cultics. Yes. They're cultists. Yes. What they do in the dark, they laugh at you. You get it? <clears throat> They're the priesthood. And they've always been there. The first guy that, that, that knew it, that, that saw, holy shit, I can create fire. It's that type of thing. And then they keep that knowledge from everybody. That's how Bill Cooper always used to explain it. You know, the Promethean fire is given and then the priesthood is born. And now you're going to have new priesthood members that want to say that, oh, I'm going to be the head of the new spirituality and all of this fucking shit. And Christ is in the desert now. Go see Christ. That's what's coming There's next. There's only You're one spirituality, that. and that is the creator, yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Buddha knew it. All, all of these ascended master types understood that shit. They were connected with the positive, with the light. They identified with the light instead of the dark. That's why they were rewarded with things like enlightenment for Buddha. He was before Christ, man. But the Father existed before anything. That's it. And Christ is the beginning of the creation. Go to Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. Okay. The beginning of creation was Jesus. He was the mouth that let there be light came out of. He's the creator. He's the creator. It's, it's the avatar of the energy of the Father. It's the condensed molecules, Jesus' body was the condensed molecules of the Father. That's why we say his other names to other cultures. Esai. Because that's how they recognize him. Yeshua, Isa. Uh, I, don't, I don't ask American Christians to understand no. how I preach. Yeah, no. I'm not no. talking to you. No. If you've been born into Christianity, you're baptized, all that stuff, and you love Jesus, you're fine. Whatever. Do what you want. You got freedom in Christ. Don't hate on people, though. <laughs> Don't hate on people. You hate on me is showing me that you're aligned with Satan. You love God, so you got the first. The second command is as important as the first. You don't. You got to love people, which can be tough sometimes. But you got to do that. Everyone, including your enemy. It's a must. Oh, you're not loving BB Netanyahu right now, uh, Rev. Oh, you're not really loving Ehud Omer right now. And all how, fake, how, how fake, are you, fake Jews. Yeah. How are you supposed to love people who don't understand the concept of love, how to love, how to have compassion and dignity? You can't teach them these things. They will not understand that. Right. And I You just have to. You know how you deal with narcissists? You stop playing their fucking games. Yeah. And I love Bibi Netanyahu. I hate his deeds. There's a big difference. I don't hate the man. I loved him. I prayed I, uh, for Bibi Netanyahu. No, I did all the time. He's the leader of Israel. And but I he will not hear us, our prayers anymore. No, I think they're shut. The door is shut. That's what I've been feeling. It's very dark time. Because the ark door is shutting. Noah, okay? The ark door is shutting. If you're on the side of Israel right now, you're in darkness, complete darkness. And a lot of the Christians are going to be on the side of Israel guaranteed because it's dirty Muslims. You're fucking blind. Compassion for your fellow man will always be held more honorably than you killing for God. Hey, Tisra, Tirsa, Tirsa. Do you get that? I'll say it again. God will find more honorably you showing compassion to your fellow man than you dying and killing people, or you killing people for God. God says he hates it. 
Bloodshed. He hates bloodshed. You say you're of God and you're creating bloodshed? I don't believe you are who you say you are. God bless you. Welcome. I'm glad That's an you. abomination to the Lord. Nah. You're not who you say you are of God. No, they're not. You worship Satan by your deeds. And they have. They, it's always been the black, the dark arts. It's I mean, the Kabbalistic Jews. It's the dark arts. Canadian sister, love it. <laughs> now, there's light and dark, though. You got the tree of life, the, the Kleefot. You got the tree of life that has a positive and a negative. It's all of this shit has polarized sides. You can have holy even. If they are in tune with the light, you could have holy Khazarian Jews. But they are not. They choose dark. They choose dark. They are not choosing light. And they have not chosen light since the beginning of their movement. They never chose light. They always wanted the dark side because what? What does Star Wars teach us? They've been killing Palestinians since Israel became a nation. Yeah, before. Our whole life. They were ethnically cleansing the land before 1947. They were slaughtering indigenous Palestinians since the Crusades. You, can we talk about the Vatican? Okay? That is a government. It is a city-state. They all work together. Yes, they do. The kings of the earth with this piece of shit divine right of kings. Which is fraudulent. There's no king but Christ. There's one king. There's always only been one king. <laughs> That's Jesus Christ. Yeah. One. That was one of the revolutionary war cries. No king but Jesus, period. There is no king but him. That's it. I just want to let people know that I do not take pleasure in any of this stuff that is going down. And God taking care of the evil ones, I don't take pleasure in that e either. Wow. Because I feel really sad. Because they were given a choice over and over and over again to choose good over bad. And they keep choosing bad over good. They are who they are. And there's nothing you can do about their own self-destruction at this point. They keep believing the lies of the devil because they took these oaths. Wait, when you go into masonry, you take oaths. <clears throat> and you're working for that. Your spiritual energy is going to that cause because of your oaths. So it doesn't matter if you have a well-intentioned person in there because you still took an oath to something else. <laughs> you say, I'll be in masonry and I'll be a, 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 a light. You say the name of Jesus in the place and they go, wait a minute. Didn't you get the memo? Oh, sorry. Yabalyun. Okay, that's fine. You can say that name. That J name. You get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah. When you get to a certain level. Yabalon, Babylon. Come on. There you go. That's correct. Come on. Ma Baal Oam. Yeah, okay. I see. You say the name of Baal to me and shake my hand. You guys are all gay and love Paul. All right? You worship cock. I'm done. Nope. All right. Uh, but I'm telling you, it's over, and I don't know when, but it's coming. Israel is going to absolutely be smitten, and it's going to be the Lord that does it. It's not... It's nothing else other than the Lord doing it. If he uses your enemies, Israel, like Putin, like Putin, and, and G, Z, G, we love President G. 
Right out of central casting, folks. Trumpy. I mean, you opened up the gates of hell in yeah, Rafa. That's it. Oh, yeah. You're going to pay for that. The amount and you go in after other gods. Yeah. Well, that's where this all stems from. And you can thank Solomon. He really fucked things. That was real bad. Literally fucked things. No, that was really bad, the Solomon stuff. He took way too many spiritual things into him. That, that and dark. now you are Israel, or yeah. what you claim you're Israel, liars. You're yeah. not Israel. Jesus always spoke about a spiritual Israel. Look up the term, Star of Remfam. They're worshiping a different fucking God, and they're telling you it. That's why they're so inclusive. Like, oh, no, you can't come to us. We don't know you. Oh, you can't come to temple. You're, you, you don't belong with us. They're hiding secrets, bros. The tribe, you know? They're hiding secrets, and it's not because they're Jewish. They're hiding secrets. They're hiding secrets because they're doing really bad, fucked up shit. The same shit they've always done, which is killing the uh, the natives of the land well, and and selling it to their buddies. It's what they've always done over yeah. and over and over again. And it's already happening. I can't believe and that. And they all they're worship fucking, Lucifer. They're already selling the land. Do you get that? It's like there's not even any discussion here. They're selling the land that they've just bombed. Woe unto those who sell land covered in blood. There you go. That's from the Quran. The Quran says that. You can guarantee that's true. Blood-soaked land. What, the decapitated babies? Decapitated baby blood? What did you do to those babies? And burned alive the parents. What did you do to those babies? Yeah. What What did you do to their heads? Why would you take baby heads? What are you doing with that? Sounds like a serial murder taking freaking trophies. Are they Are they harvesting adrenochrome? Maybe. Are they harvesting uh, adrenochrome? That's probably what they're doing. Is that what they're doing? Is that what you sick fucks are doing to get your rocks off with your drugs? You decapitate, you terrifying babies. They watch their parents burned alive in front of them and they're screaming in absolute fucking agony and fucking mental torment. They just saw their fucking parents, parents burned alive. And you fucking what? You decapitate the fucking baby. So gross. Do you realize the level of evil that you have to be into to engage in something like that? They have to be in a trance. They must be in a complete brainwashed fucking psychotic trance to do stuff like that. To burn parents alive in front of a baby and then decapitate the baby. I... And the parents that couldn't even live because they, some of them, they decapitated the baby in front of the parent. And they're just lit. I mean, they're like literally just fucking seizing that they just watched their baby beheaded. And then you know what the fucking cunt Kazarian uh, human sacrificing Jews did? Do you know what they did? They burned the parents alive as they were crying for their decapitated infants in the tents. They fucking napalm the tents, man. To hide the evidence. And then Bibi Netanyahu goes... Oh my God, what a horrible mistake we made. And then shoots a bunch of people the next day and after. And then the next day after executes women in the street. This is happening. This isn't a movie. And you could, are you going to look in the mirror and call yourself a believer in Jesus and then go, oh, I, I'm a Zionist. I support this government in Israel. There's a... a and an unstable-minded man is 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 unstable in every uh, one of his ways. If you say that, there's the Palestinian women in in rubble cooking meals for their baby. Pop, pop. It's okay, hon.
And then, you know, you would have the husband come and just, he's fucking, ah, you know, tear, just fucking his family is dead in front of him. I'll get him. Pop, pop. The IDF. You're fucking murderers and you know it. Those weren't. Okay, I could, could we see your pretty face for a little bit? Here. Holy fuck. Sorry about that. What happened? And what we saw today. These weren't... Sh this wasn't shrapnel wounds from bombs. These were gunshot wounds. There's no fucking insane... I can't. That wasn't a bomb that did that. My eyes don't lie. I was I was medically trained to look at things and report on them. I wasn't that wasn't shrapnel wounds that I saw. I don't know how these people can live with themselves knowing what they did and knowing what they have been doing for the last few years. No, the Catholics in some case I think might have it right. Because I'll tell you this. No, I'll tell you. Actually, I'll tell you what Jesus Christ would tell you. You hurt the hair. One hair on the head of one of those little children in Gaza. You take a noose, put it around your neck, and drop it in the water. Because your end is better if you do that. Ah, man, buzzing. The IDF sometimes, you know what, guys? You know, you got honor, right? You got honor before your God. You fight for Hashem, right? Absolutely, to protect the civilians of Israel. Wow, do you understand that who you're bombing are your civilians? You vow to protect the civilians of Israel. You're killing the civilians of Israel deliberately. Do you fucking understand that? Is that through your fucking head as a soldier? That you are forced to serve your nation. Baruch Hashem, right? Yeah, it's, for, it's bless Hashem. Bless the name, absolutely. What name? Why do you never say his name? That's weird. That's how they revere him by not even... Yeah, that's him. what they say. That's what they say. But which God? You gotta pick the name now. Yeah, which God? Because I'll tell you who you're sacrificing for right now in your country. It's Baal and Moloch. Both. Which God? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it the God of Moses? Right. Is it the God of Moses? Is it Yoni? The Kana? I am. The great I am. Self Who is he? Yeah. Who do you worship? Because oh. I guarantee you're not worshiping the God of Moses. No way. There's no way. You're not worshiping the God of Moses. This is not what you do. There's no fucking chance that you are. Because you're slaughtering babies. That's not the God of Hashem. <laughs> That's not the Hashem God. Not how you would understand him in your history. A lot of you, you know exactly who Hashem is to you. Bibi Netanyahu, I, you know exactly who Hashem is to you. It's Baal. It's Malik. That's who you're serving. You know it. You know it. Biden, by the way... Oh. was at this event in tears. Oh, yeah. You better cry, Joseph. Yeah, you feel bad what you did, Joe? Joseph, you better cry, yeah, cry harder than that, though. Feel it. You got double the condemnation on you. Joe, you love children, right? Like, I'm not even going to be mean. Joe, you love children, right? Do you realize you were crying because you were your your spirit was breaking from the fact that there's infants that have been beheaded in front of their parents and then their parents were burned alive in tents? 
That's why you were crying. You better fucking repent as hard as you ever have, Joseph. And you better come out and say that this Israeli government is absolutely of the devil. Say that. You need to tell Christians that this is of the devil. Because it is. You're a Catholic. Fine. Be a believer in Jesus now. And tell the country to repent of all hatred and there's a ceasefire now. And to the mega people, why hasn't Trump talked about any of this stuff? Because he'd be worse. He would be... <coughs> oh, that's why. <coughs> I know why. Because BB and him are friends. Masons, the Brotherhood. Okay? It's the Brotherhood, for fuck's sake. I don't care who doesn't like me over me saying this stuff. I don't care anymore. Thank you, uh, not your bitch. Same to you. Thank you, sweetheart. Same to you. We need that shit. She's absolutely gorgeous in she's, every way. She's a very kind girl. Wave at you. I'm fucking done with this bullshit, and it really hurt my spirit today. I had to literally take kind of a piece of the spirit that was in there, which was like this love of the homeland of the Jews, and it, it, it was all a lie. It, it, it was. It literally makes you want to vomit. Like, I, it's probably, I'm just feeling my mother, too, because she supported Israel a billion percent, too. So I'm feeling that like she learned it, too. She just learned this, because I'm I've always it. loved Israel. Yeah. But I I can't. Uh, I, I condemn vomit. this. I I've always vomit. condemned, though, how Israel has treated the Palestinians. Yeah. There was I've always never... condemned this. I've always been free Palestine. But it's no longer free Palestine. It's save Palestine. Yeah, we love you, not your bitch. Fucking... And, and, and no, this isn't a griff. This isn't me trying Griffy to get what? people's fucking, like, like... Oh my god, a griff. Like, what the fuck does... I know, right? Uh, what? This is actually called being human. Okay. I know you want to go and try to uh, 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 pass the rumors along and, and, and try to trivialize me, but there's more important things that I'm talking about than me. Well, I hate to tell you. It's not you. about me. It's about Gaza and people dying and genocide. Oh, man, dude. Like, I... I, I I had a, a, an education from the 80s into the 90s. My whole life, I, I, from my grandpa, we, we learned, uh, my grandpa was in World War II. We hated Nazis. Fuck yeah. My whole generation hated goddamn Nazis. That's fucking right. No wonder all these other places, they want to ban Hitler and Nazi and all these other fucking words. Why do you think they want to ban Hitler and Nazis? Because they are them and they don't want us to know. That's right, actually. But no. If my, grandfa if my grandfather was alive today and he oh. knew I was supporting Nazis, he would slap me across the face and I damn fucking deserve it. There you go. And everyone who's supporting Nazis right now, your grandparents would slap you across your face too. They would. I guarantee it. I, I come from a generation where we hated Nazis. Oh with a furious passion because we saw what they did to people. Okay? The Bible says just because they say they're Jews doesn't mean they are. Mm -hmm. Test their spirit. And their spirit has been shown very clearly. Back to this lovely man. Yeah, it has been. They, they fucking... They They've shown who they are since, like, the times, even before the Inquisition. Uh, uh, the Crusades and the Inquisition, all of this fucking shit. This per this taking God and making him a fucking sword. That shit. That's human religion. Okay? The, 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 the Catholics will tell you, oh, you gotta go confess and all this stuff. That is works a man. That's works a man. And when you have three religions 
that are going, I'm the right truth, that's the right truth, here's my truth, and this is the right truth, and that's the only truth. It makes people kill each other, and the Masons know that, and that's why they've used it. They've used global religions to fucking put people against each other, and this is the big show. And they've used race. Hmm? It's never been about race. It's always been about the rich and poor, the mighty and the unmighty. Yeah, but this Israel thing, you have to understand, is the big show to them. Because to them, that's the place. That little piece of land that Jesus was crucified on. I don't give a fuck what you believe. Of course that's the devil's going to have guard there. You don't think the devil's not going to have guard? Yeah. At where Jesus died? He loves that spot. He savors that moment all the time. How you doing, Chubby Dubby? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want you want to you want to you want to sell land on the blood of Palestinian children? Do, do, do you got cursed do, land. You got cursed land. Even the natives knew this shit. Absolutely. You remember back in the day we used to talk about <laughs> building things on ancient mm -hmm. native burial grounds. It's it's not untruth. No. It's true. But it's not just a native burial ground. It's any burial ground. Of course. It's cursed. Well, it's unclean land with bodies. Yeah. That's what it is. You guys are idiots. Especially given the fact that the land was was what it's is being utilized as a sacrifice, uh, an altar of sacrifice to Baal. What the hell kind of energy do you think is going to be there? So enjoy that fucking land, white, racist, Ashkenazi, Khazar Jews. Enjoy that land that's haunted with the blood of Christians that you put there. <laughs> Have fun with that. The, the, the agony of burning parents alive when they saw their kids decapitated in front of them. That's the energy. I hope their spirit rises up like Freddy Krueger to them. Oh, they'll be haunted. <laughs> Completely haunted. Here these guys are like Forever. celebrating their deaths. Oh, it was a great bonfire. I love the smell of a oh, pig. You love the smell of a fucking burning child. Wow. Ugh. You realize that it's not your body anymore, brother. You're fully taken over by the devil. Completely. You're totally, perfectly demon-possessed. If you can smell the air and there's infants burning and you go, oh, okay, where's my coffee? And then you just walk through the streets of fucking Gaza and you fucking cap women in the back of the head. Ugh. Holy shit. What's wrong with you? What are you listening to while you do that? You got some Israeli death metal in your ear or some shit, right? Death, fucking death incorporated. Absolutely, I'm here for it. You fucking cap a woman in the back of the head that's literally just cooking dinner. She's cooking dinner on a fucking rock because you people bombed out every single building that they had. Including all the hospitals. Some aid got through today, though. Praise Jesus Christ for that. Amen. Some fucking aid got through to those people. But you're just walking down the street and you go to yourself, oh, let's see one over here. What that? Oh, she's cooking on a rock. Look at that one. Cow, cow in the back of the fucking head. How about that? Is that manly? Is that very Israeli of you to do? That's no rock kazak. Ah, uh, that's we, no can't, we can't say that word in the same sentence as what I just said. No. What you're doing is fucking Hitler pussy faggot shit. That's what you're doing. Hitler guys would do what you're doing. You don't like diversity. You don't like a brown person in front of you. Is that right? There's a lot of brown people, Israelis, that are in the IDF. Why do you have a problem with this, huh? You got these people that, they're actually the natives. They were there thousands of years before you. The people that you're murdering now. This is to the IDF. 
And they have the actual blood of Christ, not you. You're the Israeli Defense Force. Do you know, guys, <laughs> do you know Yeah. blood tests in Israel is illegal? Damn. You know why? Damn. They're hiding their lineage. Mm -hmm. That they're frauds, they're fakes, they're liars. They're Germans and Polish people and Ruskies. Why the hell are genetic tests illegal? Could so someone that has a nice big knowledge base explain it to me? Why wouldn't you want to know the blood of Israel? Why wouldn't you want to know? Ah. Oh. Because you already do know, right? Well, that you're blatant, disgusting Nazis. That everything to you is about being a white Ashkenazi Jew. Those are the ones that get entry like that. Of course, unless you say you believe in Yeshua, then you're screwed. Yep. You're not getting in ever. We've known people who's gone through that. I knew one, yep. Okay, so that's it. You're clearly Nazis. This is exposed now. People are going to start talking about this because it's just true. If you look up the names of the prime ministers of Israel, every single one of them have a fake fucking name. They are hiding the fact that they don't have one bit, one bit of Hebrew of in them. Hebrew blood. None. They are liars. But and the Palestinians are, do. Yes. And they're murdering the real Jews that are left. It's the second Holocaust and they want to wipe them out the same thing they did to the native people yes they tried to do it to the irish too it didn't work very well with them they want to breed them out and the ones they can't breed out they want to kill fucking done it's the same thing cap them all in the head if they could kill every palestinian right now and, and just cap them double cap i don't them. want you guys to get kicked off here for i know well then it might be too rough we won't post this. it might be too rough man mm -hmm. it might be too rough no, we should post it. If if we have to take this down, we'll take it down. Yeah. But people need to hear this shit. I think Instagram is very pro-Palestine. Yes. As they need, any human being has to be pro-Palestine now. If anything, they'll probably be put a sensitive warning on her. For yeah, and that's fine. Because this is sensitive. Kids shouldn't hear this. This will give you fucking nightmares. I'm talking we'll put disclaimers on. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's just a truth that if you're not speaking right now about this in some way and saying that the people that are in Gaza and West Bank are absolutely being fucking slaughtered. You have to make a choice at this point. You have to say something. I don't care if you're an atheist. It doesn't fucking matter. This okay? is life. Your money went to help this. The people that burned alive in the tents in Rafa, your money went for it. They're trying to get us to shut up. That's fine. We'll never shut up. You will have to kill us before the message of the justice for children's blood stops. There's no way. And Christians, if you're saying you're pro-Zionist and you're pro-life, stop it now. You liar. Shut the fuck up. You're a liar. I want to protect white babies. Fuck you and your pro-lifeness. You're not pro-life. You're pro-bloodletting of children. Conscious ones. Ones that are out of the womb. The fucking Israeli IDF ran over a woman's stomach that was pregnant until the fetus came out. Huh? Oh, I don't like hearing about this stuff. It's really sad. Well, guess what? At least you still have a uterus... At least you still have your life and your children have their lives, but you don't want to hear it. It's too, it's too dark for you. I'm really sorry that in your fucking pathetic Christianized fucking American world that you hear about a little baby that was fucking massacred by the IDF and you go, well, that really, really bothered my breakfast. Fuck off. Are you done? <laughs> I said I would have ended it right there. That's called empathy. You want any more? Or are, you, are we good for now? It's up to you. Mm. Oh, man. I'm sorry about that. That was really rough. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> you shouldn't have said some things. Yeah. Whoa.
This is the Spirit of God, so I, it's coming out. I know. God will do what he needs to do. But at this point in our lives, right is right, wrong is wrong, good is good, and evil is evil. Like, you have to choose who... He got, you gotta choose. You know, the, do you want bloodshed or do you want peace? I choose peace. I choose no more. I choose freedom for all. You know why I choose freedom for all? Because I'm a goddamn American. And it's anti-American to not be for freedom. And our governments on these world, they lied to us. You know that line would have gave Bill Cooper a heart on. That's fucking America right there. It is. This stuff really triggers my anxiety. Oh, I know. It's, it's us too. Yep. But what's going on cannot be ignored. No. Thank no. You. That's right. Everyone, like so many people want to ignore this because it doesn't go by the day they need to have. It's, it's really bothering my feelings. I know it is, and it does ours too, and we're sorry, but well, look, it's like fucking baby's dead. I understand that it gets to you. I understand this, and I, would, I, would, I, I don't want to condemn people in any way for it, for it to upset you. But when evil like this is existing and continue to allow, it's being allowed to exist on the planet right now, you got to look at it. Because you're a coward if you don't look at this and then stand up and say no more. Especially given the fact that this disgusting piece of fucking shit president that we have. It's funding it. Gave money to the bombs that were dropped on those people in Rafa. Did you the see tents, And then they burned alive the parents, sorry. Did you see the picture of Nikki Haley signing the bombs? <laughs> Nikki Haley signed the bombs that killed those children in Rafa. I know, watermelon. You hear that? She knows. Nikki Haley. She could have been a president. I know. <laughs> Watermelon is anti Nikki Haley for sure. <laughs> That's because she's a watermelon. She knows. Watermelon. Are knows. you a watermelon? <coughs> now she ain't saying it. I can't do it. It's not important. My if God. it's important, then she'll talk. That's how she works. That's the type of girl she is. I know babies. She's like, guys, can you quiet down? It's, like, pretty much sleep time, and I need to sleep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. We'll quiet down for the cat. Yeah, it's been too much. She's like, thank you. The spirit of God is just... Whew. You want to go beds, baby? You want to go to beds? I think she wants to go to bed. Well, she's a good girl. All right, guys. We love you. Stay true to yourself. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you not to follow your heart. Follow your heart. Expose the genocide every day. If you go to a store, you talk to somebody, and you get five seconds to talk to them about something, tell them the genocide in Gaza and West Bank must end. You should tell... At least one or two people that you walk down the street if you see someone. This must end. Your taxpayer dollars went to the death of infants. That's it. There's going to be infiltrators in this movement. And they're going to try to silence you. They're going to try to silence you. They're going to use scare tactics. Anything. But I'm at a time in my life where I just, I don't care. Do as you will. 
uh, all I am is is a flashlight. Sorry for flashing on you, but I am just what I am, and I ain't gonna change for you. Just because I not have the knowledge that you're doing horrible things. Maybe if you don't want people to look at you as doing horrible things, maybe not do horrible things. Amen. Anyway. Peace and Maranatha. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Pray, 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 pray for BB. Pray for all the leaders in the world that God softens their heart at this moment. Yeah. Pray for Jesus Christ's return. Pray for everything. Pray for everybody that's ever taken a Masonic oath that they have the revelation of the Holy Spirit to tell them that it's time to relinquish that oath and start working for humanity. For real. Not this let's flip everything that's bad, make it good, and everything that's good and make it bad. Let's, let's take that oath away and actually put the planet on a trajectory towards something like a Star Trek society, because that wouldn't be bad, actually, at all. Uh, so, <laughs> in a world like this, it's really bad about lying to the people, because we see it and we know it. Peace and Maranatha, guys.